What's up, Brian Tong here with your Googlelicious for everything Google that we can pack inside of a show. So let's get to the stories and we start with Android Lollipop adoption that's finally starting to gain some momentum nearing 10% of Android's user base. Now it's not nearly as significant as other platforms, but it made a big jump from 5% at the same time last month to 9.7%. Now one of the obstacles holding it back, the super slow rollout. More devices are finally getting the update with the Nexus 7 from 2012 and 2013 and the Nexus 10, but the current Nexus 9 flagship tablet, still nothing. All right, a Sam Mobile report says an upcoming 5.1.1 update for the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge will bring new features to their camera app. The report says the new update will add support for the full Google Camera API on Lollipop, including features like shooting in RAW and the option to control the shutter speed, which the S6 line is currently lacking. Now, the HTC One M9 and LG G4 both have those features. They also report the Galaxy Note 5 is still expected to launch in the second half of the year, codenamed Noble, internally at Samsung. It's expected the next flagship Note will also bring these features and possibly add even more. Now, if you're a Marvel fan and a Samsung fan, you might want to wait just a little bit before you get your next phone after a report from the Korea Times says the Korean giant will release Iron Man versions of the S6 and S6 Edge in partnership with Marvel. Now check this out, they look pretty sweet. The idea is to help promote Age of Ultron, which really needs it since it just scored the second highest opening ever for US box offices. The first one, the first Avengers movie. Now there are already Marvel themed wallpapers, home screen icons, and ringtones that you all can get right now as well. And Sam Mobile also reports that Samsung will be announcing the Galaxy Tab S2 8.0 and 9.7 inch screen versions in June. There will be four variants with the two screen sizes we mentioned and a Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi LTE version. They are expected to use metal in the frame this time around and feature the latest 64-bit Exynos processor with a 2048 by 1536 resolution. Google recently announced that new custom voice actions are now rolling out and will allow you to say special commands with OK Google that can launch specific apps like NPR or you can ask it to show you attractions near you using the TripAdvisor app. It's really their way of using their killer voice recognition and plugging in functionality with third party apps for a better experience. Meerkat has made its way onto Android now. They are still saying it's in beta, so don't expect it to work perfectly, but it has been able to beat Twitter's Periscope to the Android platform. And I know a lot of you are tired of the whole may the fourth be with you thing. It's over, we're done with that. But if you're still a fan that can't get enough of your Star Wars fix, Try using the Google app, which can now answer questions about Star Wars characters, and it will pull information straight from the Star Wars data bank online. You gotta try it, because it's pretty slick. All right, that's gonna do it for this week's show. You can always email us at googlelicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong, and I'll respond when I can. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time for some more of that Googlelicious. Googlelicious.